Welcome to the first issue of the Economist Stories podcast series where we'll be exploring the outlook for the UK and global economy. Throughout the year, our executives will be sharing their insights and perspectives on key international business projects and the implications for business in short episodes lasting 15 minutes. I'm Jennifer, a senior associate in our economics team, and I will be your host on today's episode. I'm joined here today by Tommy, director of Ananas, to discuss a recent business project his company has planned for opportunity in the global economy. So Tommy, first off, can you tell us a little bit about your company's international business project and what motivated you to do this project? Well Jennifer, Ananas Enterprise was founded in 2010 inspired by the image of pineapple. In the early years we faced many difficulties affecting our business but we had a breakthrough and assert their own brand in the Vietnamese market in 2017. Beside we also using the message discover you, each person first needs to understand themselves and know what they want. We provide consumers with quality shoe products with good prices. It is these things that have helped the company gradually become one of the leading local brands in Vietnam. Our main product is vulcanized shoes known as vulcanized rubber shoes such as Vans or Converse. Vulcanized has a classic shape with a rubber sole, a minimalist design and has been around for more than a century but is still very popular and has never been forgotten. These products always have a vintage touch, a retro trend that is very popular in recent years. We own five main shoe lines, Basis, Vintas, Urbas, Patas, and Track 6 with their own styles and personalities. Therefore, Ananas believes that the shoe line will develop sustainably, regardless of trends. Change of the fashion industry in general and footwear in particular. Next I will talk about a few characteristics of our company. We have the strength of the brand inherited from the vulcanized shoe manufacturing technology for 20 years, and we have also cooperated with many world-famous shoe brands such as Reebok, Puma. Team Human Resources are young people with enthusiastic spirit, exploring themselves to create values for products. Ananas has the advantage of understanding local culture over foreign brands. Thanks to that, we can come up with product designs that are suitable for our market. However, we do not focus too much on marketing, so our market coverage is still limited and we cannot compete for market share with other famous shoe brands. This also poses some challenges for us such as being highly competitive not only from domestic competitors but also from foreign brands. And because the design is so basic, it's hard to differentiate from the established names. In fact, when putting the product on the market, Ananas was accused by many people of plagiarizing Vans or Converse. Therefore, this is one of the motivations to help us perfect our products as well as carry out international business projects in the near future. Great, I see a lot of potential in your company. Recently, I also own a pair of Ananas shoes and I am very pleased with them. But I don't know how the value chain creates Ananas shoes, can you tell me, Tommy? Actually Jennifer, for inbound logistics, Ananas imports vulcanized rubber from abroad, which is strictly censored and monitored along with the application of advanced science and technology to reduce risks and improve productivity. In terms of personnel, We are looking for young, enthusiastic talents who have the ability to approach and use modern machinery and technology in the shoe production process. For R&D, Ananas is gradually researching and developing brands based on basic preset values and vulcanized shoe manufacturing technology, incorporating optimal manufacturing processes, models are designed with distinct colors and designs by the design department to suit the target customers. Next, we are directly involved in the production process with many meticulously completed handcrafted stages. Applying advanced technology to make pioneering and most basic sneaker shoes is a unique advantage of Ananas. It is a series of stages from simple to complex, a harmonious combination of people and machines, from which we produce quality products in every detail. Packing and shipping operations are all done manually by Ananas team to keep products safe during transit and shipping labels are also affixed on application packages to send products to their destination. Upon completion of packing, the shoes will be shipped by means of transport to stores, warehouse facilities, centers or distribution locations. Next, the partner will follow a predefined and optimized route to deliver the product, delivering the product to the end consumer in the most efficient manner. 
Anonis only has a store system that sells directly to consumers and via the main website, so there are always products available and delivery time depends on geographical distance. In the success of Anonis, I must admit that marketing and sales play a very important role. With 10 branches in Ho Chi Minh City located in prime locations with many forms such as standard, outlet, pop-up. Anonis also expands online distribution channels in parallel through its official website. Price competition is the bright spot in our customer attraction, we ignore the brand value and the middleman, so the selling price of each product designed by Anonis ranges from 400,000 to 600,000 BND only. Many product lines from simple to complex, from monotonous design to creating imprints were conceived very early and designed to meet the technological process, bring the soul of the creator into the core value. Promotion activities are focused on and make a lot of sense. Throughout our journey, Anonis always carries the message, discover you. Since then, we have really made a deep impression and impressed most of our consumers. And finally our customers who choose the product will receive care advice through social networking activities or hotline numbers. Anonis has customer policies to serve the needs of product return and warranty. I think this is a process that any customer wants to learn before using the product so let's move on to the actual countries, what's the first one you want to talk about? We chose the UK market because it is a promising market for Vietnamese businesses. The potential for exporting goods to the UK is huge with many items such as tropical agricultural products, textiles, footwear, furniture, and phones. According to statistics, in the first two quarters of 2021, the total export of goods from Vietnam to the UK reached 2.88 billion US dollars, of which textiles and garments accounted for 9.49%. UK VFTA has been and will continue to create conditions for Vietnamese goods to enter the UK market with more preferential tariffs and commitments on trade facilitation. Political stability is the great strength of the country, however, Brexit has created instability in political debates. The UK maintains very good relations with many other countries around the world. It is a permanent member of the United Nations with significant influence on global economic, cultural, and military. The UK is the sixth largest economy in the world by nominal GDP. The current corporation tax rate for company profits is 19%. It also attracts millions of tourists and a huge number of international students come to the country every year and contribute to the economy significantly. The UK has a multicultural and linguistic country, the population is multicultural and that is one of the main strengths of the country, the UK ranks in third place among the world's best countries for education. About technology the UK is one of the countries with the most advanced technology in the world, in addition, the technology sector is a major contributor to the UK economy. Every invention and development contributes to the economy of the country and brings revenue to the national GDP. The UK VFTA agreement has helped Vietnam's agricultural products have a competitive advantage over similar products originating from other countries. Currently the British government is ready to open the domestic market in a reciprocal manner with foreign partners through FTAs. The UK has a temperate climate, with abundant rainfall year-round, with seasonal variations in temperature. Great Britain has abundant coal, natural gas and oil reserves accounting for 10% of GDP. Previously, the UK was one of the EU's largest footwear importers, accounting for 10-12%. to After the UK left the EU, Vietnam's footwear exports to this market were severely affected, up to 50%. However, the recovery signal was quite good when the UK VFTA agreement was signed. As of May, 2022, the total export value of leather and footwear products to the UK market reached 330 million US dollars, accounting for 50% of the year plan and we expect it to continue to increase in the near future. Besides, the footwear market in the UK is very potential but also very competitive. In this market footwear is very diverse and rich with a variety of materials and products ranging from footwear for men, women, and children to specialized products such as ski boots and protective shoes. Besides, we implement a market penetration strategy through export with two forms, direct and indirect. The first is indirect exports. 
Ananas exports indirectly through the services of independent organizations such as export management companies, export trustees, export brokers, export wholesalers to introduce and sell products to international markets to help Ananas survey international customers and measure customer tastes in the UK market. As for market penetration through direct export, this strategy is suitable for small-scale enterprises like Ananas to pursue the goal of dominating foreign markets. Participating in the export business will bring more profits and foreign currency revenue for Ananas to invest in buying machinery and equipment, and at the same time expand and improve production, thereby helping the company create a competitive advantage, expand the market, increase market share and profit. Sounds great, it's an interesting market for Ananas to invest in. So have you chosen any international business strategy for entering the UK market? First of all, we employ a low-cost strategy that helps Ananas create a competitive advantage in the market by producing products that are priced lower than competitors in the same industry. The first reason, with a large market share, Ananas will save costs when buying from suppliers when taking advantage of economies of scale. Secondly, although there is a difference, it is sometimes confused with some other shoe brands, which leads to Ananas only responding to the market when the customer needs it. Third, we have enough capacity to meet the large production volume in the market. Finally, Ananas had to actively price each pair of shoes at a fairly cheap price, accepting initial losses to build more market share. The international business strategy that Ananas should choose in the near future is a global strategy. The global economic strategy is the expansion of markets beyond national borders by standardizing products and services. The goal is to expand the market, produce more goods, have more customers and earn higher profits. Besides, the implementation of the global strategy helps the company exploit and develop its competitive advantage. With this strategy, we will focus on increasing profits by optimizing production costs to achieve bigger cumulative profits. Products traded in markets are the same, so it is easy for businesses to share product volume between markets. Exploring the impact of the experience curve, exploiting regional economies. However, this strategy also has a disadvantage, which is the lack of response to local needs. In general, in order to implement a global strategy, businesses need to carefully observe and study the situation of the company itself, business products, the world situation as well as the business situation and business conditions abroad. Wow, that sounds great. So, tell me, with such an international business strategy, how does Ananas come up with appropriate financial strategies? Regarding domestic and foreign financial management, Ananas has a number of strategies as follows, attracting necessary funding sources to implement strategies, develop projected budget statements to test the expected results of different activities and approaches, management slash use of funds and valuing the business. About international capital market, the UK capital market creates very favorable conditions for us. It is decentralized into two markets, main market for world-renowned corporations and AIM companies for small-scale companies with less strict listing standards but good business. Borrowing capital to invest in the UK market to have more business operating costs, helps to reduce the amount of tax that the company needs to pay, helping to increase profits for the company. About manufacturing abroad, we need to spend money on outsourcing and production abroad, where it is convenient and geographically closer to Vietnam, in order to minimize transportation costs. For the return of money back home, the revenue and profit earned will be transferred directly to the parent company in Vietnam then use that money to carry out payment activities. Oh, that's a very interesting share indeed. Hope your plans will soon be realized and successful. Thank you Jennifer. At this point, the duration of today's broadcast has ended. Thank you very much Tommy for giving us a better insight into Ananas as well as your company's international business strategy in the near future. I firmly believe that this will be a topic that economists or those with a passion for economics will not be able to ignore. And if you'd like to hear more about the next hot topics please head to our website at www.pwc.com. Thank you and see you again.